This is your Cabrini College Lifestyles Update, and now, here are your hosts. Welcome to Location Lifestyles. I'm Alexa Farragine. And I'm Jessica Paradis. It is a sad day in the celebrity world for actor Jim Carrey. Carrey's on and off again girlfriend, Catriona White, was found dead in a suspected suicide two nights ago, according to E! News. White was pronounced dead at the scene. Carrie released a statement to E! News saying she was a truly kind and delicate Irish flower, too sensitive for the soil, to whom loving and being loved was all that sparkled. Our condolences to all of White's loved ones. I feel so bad for her and her family. It's such a tragic situation. It really is, and it's so public. Definitely. Everyone's talking about it. Yeah, and there's probably so much more to the story, too, but you have to be respectful. Yep. Halloween is around the corner. Are you looking for something a little creepy and fun to do? Why not check out Eastern State Penitentiary's Terror Behind the Walls? The prison, built in 1821, is the perfect Philly location for a haunted house. The Bates Motel in Haunted Hayred is another freaky option in Westchester. If you just want to stay in and watch Hocus Pocus, that's perfectly fine too. Share your favorite haunted spots on Twitter at Location News. I love Hocus Pocus. It's one of my favorite Halloween movies. Me too. Movies. It's so funny. It never gets old. Definitely. <laughs> From Disney World in Orlando to brunch in Miami, what is going on with Nick Jonas and Kate Hudson? Hudson was seen at Jonas' show in Orlando this past Saturday, and people can't seem to wonder. Is this a new couple alert? <laughs> TMZ claims this may be just a hookup. Nick Jonas seemed to be enjoying himself while riding a roller coaster with Hudson and trying to stay unseen in a baseball cap in Disney World. Location lifestyles will have to keep an eye out on this possible couple alert. We will. I like them both. I think the age difference is a little weird, but yeah, go for it, Kate. A little bit, but yeah. we'll see what happens. <laughs> In other relationship news, Big Bang Theory star Kaylee Cuoco has split from her husband, Ryan Sweeting. The two cited irreconcilable differences. Who couldn't forget Kaylee's stunning ball gown during her 2013 wedding? I wish them the best during this very difficult time. Me too. It must be really hard on them. It is, and she's so sweet, and she was talking about her husband in a Cosmo magazine interview recently, and oh, wow. I wish them the best. Yeah, me too. The long-anticipated wait of Kris Jenner's reaction to ex-husband Bruce Jenner's transition has finally been revealed. <laughs> on the latest episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Jenner is expressing how she is struggling saying goodbye to Bruce. The episode captures momager Kris Jenner telling one of her daughters, Kim, it will be a while before she can process all of this and completely understand it. The matriarch has since posted on social media pictures out with her daughters having fun at different events and social gatherings. I'm sick of the Kardashians, but I'm still intrigued by it. I kind of want to see Chris's reaction to yeah, it. Yeah, you don't want to watch it, but you want to see exactly, what happens. Exactly, like a love-hate thing. Yeah. <laughs> Once you get involved on campus. Active Minds is a club you can join. Let's see what it's all about. Active Minds is a great organization. I know when I was a freshman and I came in here, I was very scared and felt like I wouldn't be accepted. I suffer from anxiety problems. And as soon as I stepped foot in Active Minds, I felt like I was part of a community that wouldn't judge me for the issues that I faced. I know last year we brought in puppies for stress-free weeks, so that was really fun. We do a lot of events to pump up the students and make them feel better when there are conditions that would make them feel worse. Active Minds is a mental health organization. It's national. We work to decrease the mental health stigma and make it so that everybody knows what mental health is and they're not afraid to talk about it. As a group, we spread awareness to make sure that everybody knows what mental health illnesses are because there's a lot of stigmas in the world where, like, say you're bipolar, somebody will be like, oh my gosh, I'm feeling so bipolar today, but it's actually a mood illness and it's a thing where it's not just mood swings, it's more of a mental issue. My job as vice president is to send out doodles and emails, make sure everybody's actively participating and plan events. Typically, we hold events like Stress Less Week and Suicide Prevention Month, which is this month, September. To become a member of Active Minds, you just have to be a mental health advocate, and you have to care about the stigma in the world and what you want to do to decrease it and make the world a better place. Uh, we've seen an influx in members this year. The freshmen, we have over 60 that signed up to be in the club this year, which is way more than we had last year. Thanks for watching Lifestyles on Location. Don't forget to follow us on our social media platforms by simply searching Location News. I'm Alexa Farragine. And I'm Jessica Pratt. Have a great week, Cabrini.